When we talk about the environment, what do you usually think of? Are you thinking about the sky? Maybe the water? Perhaps some animals? Or maybe even a combination of all these things? All these things are a part of something called an ecosystem. Ecosystems are everywhere on the planet, and no two are exactly the same. They are also made up of several different parts and have multiple levels. By the time this video is over, you'll know the five levels of organization in an ecosystem and what each level is made of. Let's get started. First, it's important to know that when we talk about an ecosystem, the term we use is ecology. Ecology is the study of ecosystems and their parts. Each level of organization in ecology is an ecological level of organization. The first ecological level of organization is the smallest one. It is the species. The species is the individual living organism. For example, the animal on the screen is the white-tailed deer species. When multiple members of the same species are together in any particular area, they are now called a population, which is the second level of ecological organization. For example, all of the white-tailed deer in South Carolina make up a population. Populations can range in size from zero to infinity. For example, the population of bees in your classroom can be zero, but the population of bees in the entire world is countless. All members of a population compete for the same resources, such as food, water, space, and mates. When you have multiple populations in one area, you now have what is called a community. A community is the third level of ecological organization. A community consists of all the different populations in a specific area or region at a certain time. For example, all of the white-tailed deer plus all of the gray wolves and all of the oak trees in South Carolina make up a community. Just like how in your community, all the residents might get together for a yard sale or birthday party, all communities in nature involve interactions between populations. For example, the gray wolves interacts with the white-tailed deer by hunting them for food. The fourth level of ecological organization is the ecosystem. An ecosystem includes multiple communities as well as abiotic factors. Abiotic means non-living. Examples of abiotic things in an ecosystem include the soil, rivers, lakes, the air, and rocks. When you talk about any ecosystem, you aren't just speaking on the living, or biotic, factors such as plants and animals, you are also speaking on the abiotic factors. The fifth and final level of ecological organization is the biome. Biomes are massive. They include all ecosystems in a region, based on the climate. For example, the entire Sahara Desert, which covers over one dozen countries in Africa, is considered a biome. The Sahara Desert is larger than the lower 48 states, but it is considered to be one biome because each of its ecosystems share the same climate. If you've watched to this point, you're almost done. Let's do a quick review to make sure we have the main points down. Ecology is the study of ecosystems and their parts. Each level of organization in ecology is an ecological level of organization. The first ecological level of organization is the smallest one. It is the species. When multiple members of the same species are together in any particular area, they are now called a population, which is the second level of ecological organization. For example, all of the white-tailed deer in South Carolina make up a population. A community is the third level of ecological organization. A community consists of all the different populations in a specific area or region at a certain time. For example, all of the white-tailed deer plus all of the gray wolves and all of the oak trees in South Carolina make up a community. The fourth level of ecological organization is the ecosystem. An ecosystem includes multiple communities as well as abiotic factors. When you talk about any ecosystem, you aren't just speaking on the living or biotic 
factors such as plants and animals, you are also speaking on the abiotic factors. Lastly, the fifth and final level of ecological organization is the biome. They include all ecosystems in a region, based on the climate. If you learned anything from this video or felt like it was educational, don't forget to leave us some love. We put a lot of work into it, and all support is greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot, and see you on the next video.